I, I think the third chapter of the book was one of the most fun ones I had mm. the experience of working on. Because that, that chapter focuses on what is the, the meaning of the relationship that we have with our future selves and what do, the, what do those relationships impact? And rather than, you know, just sort of talk about the data, I, I got to talk to some fascinating people. I, I talked to this, um, this, this woman, um, Linda, Linda Chamberlain, who helped to co-found Alcor, which is the oldest, um, uh, cryogenics organization in America that what that is is people who freeze them you know they make a plan to freeze themselves upon their death so that you know in case science comes along to revive them it will um I had no idea what I would find going into this and it ended up being a fascinating conversation into you know someone who doesn't only think about herself now and at the end of her life but way beyond it um and then that got me to talk to uh, a man uh, who who is the he's a police chief up in Northern California, California. And when he was a kid, his dad was diagnosed with um, ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. And as his dad's health was declining, he started writing letters, all these letters, mm. and. Um, he was writing all these letters to eventually be delivered to his kids oh. and you know one of whom was the police chief i talked to mm. and this guy ended up writing not just letters for the day he died but for every milestone his kids would would approach mm. moving forward through life even milestones that he himself the father hadn't hit because he died too early mm. and it was a like just such an incredible story of not only connecting sort of within our lives, just like the, the woman who started Alcor, but connecting beyond our lives into others as well. And, you know, the science is so interesting. I find the science of, of these sorts of topics so interesting. How do we connect to our future selves and what do those relationships mean? But hearing these stories and then being able to sort of translate them back for others, it was, it was just, it was so intriguing to me. It was so cool. I couldn't like, I couldn't get enough of it. So that, 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 that chapter was probably the one that I, you know, maybe the one that I'm most, uh, excited by.